okay so we took these out one on this side one on this side okay giving our nose a little bit more shape now I could uh, clean that up with my detail knife if I like or just go right to my gouges but uh, I'm gonna get some of these out here at the top to find that a little bit better remove some wood so I can set those well this is going to be painted so I really don't need to put eyes on him okay I really don't and right here at the top there I'm going to clean that up a little bit more I'm trying to keep them fairly symmetrical okay and there's a little chip over here I'm going to remove that chip clean up around the nostril you know wherever you clean up as you go you see something you want to adjust you just get out your detail knife and do it right here is the mouth all right and we'll show you how to do those corners then all right so on the nose there, i'm going to round that off a little bit so it all kind of flows in that cheek after we did that last step very little here i'm just trying to blend it all together all right get a couple of those gouge marks out now i'm going to go back to that little gouge These are flex cut tools that I'm using for this little piece of basswood. So what's nice about this handle is they're, real, they're just interchangeable. I've showed this before on other videos, but you buy yourself a handle. You can buy these tools one at a time or buy the whole set. And what's really nice is you can end up with a whole bunch of different sizes and stuff that you want. So I'm going, this is the little one, right, that we did the nostrils with. The same gouge. I'm going to lay that gouge, right, upside down invert it all right come over to the side here and push that nostril into that smile line and give it a turn just like that to set that nose in see that uh, you probably see it a little better on this side try and make it fairly even and give it a little bit of a push give it a check it looks a little off so i'll adjust it again i'm looking at viewing this from an angle so hard for me to see when I have it on the board and do it right from there I'm gonna push it in give it a turn pull it out all right now that sets the nose in all right and from there again you can use that little gouge after we took those off and clean up with just a little bit more very lightly we don't want to make too big of anything that we have to uh, fix we don't want to go too crazy there okay now his nose is set in a little bit more all right now we're going to get to go to our detail knife and we're going to pick up that little bitty line that we just cut in we're going to push our detail knife in all right just like that and i'm going to cut around the line i just put in kind of sawing away at it all right going around To really set that in then I'm gonna pick up the corner here and come down into the mustache like that and I'm gonna remove that little V chip I just created in between the cheek and the outside of that nostril there okay so I would cut it in see that just like that okay Start to give a little shadow underneath there. <coughs> Excuse me. Here. Right, so I'm just cleaning that up a little bit with my detail knife. Probably do better holding this than I could show you better. But right, hopefully you'll get the idea. Alright, now on this side I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna put my knife in where we already hit with the gouge. Work around that nostril a little bit, make sure it's set in pretty good. Okay. Pick up the smile line and just cut down the outside in the mustache there. And then from the corner of the nose here over, there's that little chip. I'll try and do it this way so you can see. And we're just removing that chip. That's all we're doing. 
okay so on this side and this side this side since it's the side that I have to try to stay out of the camera might be a little bit of work for me to to get at but uh we'll get you to see it hopefully okay so now his nose is coming out a little bit better all right he's got some depth to him the nostrils we can clean up in a little bit let's go down to the mouth here we're going to deepen that to get some shadow so we're going to make a v-cut come down all right see that and then on this side here we're come down all right then we're just going to remove that wood in the middle here pull it out on that side same on this side here okay and if it doesn't pop out on you, just recut it a little bit. So you can get that chip out. Now he's got a little bit of shadow under his mouth, okay? And in the corners, right, right underneath the mustache, we're going to cut. You can see where I'm doing that, right? And right here. And we're going to make the lip stand out a little bit more in the corner by taking wood out right there again here okay under the mustache and where the lip meets it right there and then from the side of the lip over and underneath the mustache remove that little piece of wood there when it comes out you'll have a little more shadow there and the mustache is separated from the lip okay same on this side we're going to do the same thing I'm going to bring it up to where about I want the lip to go into the mustache there come over to the side cut your little corner there following your mustache and then pop that out okay so now his lips standing out right we have shadow in the corner of the lip shadow in the corner of the lip this is this is all about shadows guys okay the more shadows you can create the better the carving will look the more depth he'll have same with up here under the hair. I'm going to uh, dig that in a little bit more with my knife. I'm going to score a stop cut. Like that. Come back up. Make a removal cut. Okay. Stop cut. And a removal cut. Bring a little bit more depth into... The face going up and under the hair there, right? Just like that. <clears throat> okay. Now, when you view it, <clears throat> view it directly from the front. I got dust in my throat from all that sand and without my dust collector on. I even had a dust mask on. I'm gonna come over to this side. Same thing. Come down. If you're not sure, stop. Cut it twice. Right. In from the side or the inside make your removal cut get a little shadow up under there if you don't like it uh, cut it again like I said get a little more out okay so we're just defining up there at the hair at the top I'm gonna come down just a little bit and let that meet there we're across at the top and cut into that stop cut okay same over here show you what I did on this side if you didn't see it I'm coming down making a stop cut to the forehead all right I'll bring that continue it across just so I can tuck some of that hair up underneath the top there a little better and I'm attaching that to the hairline right there all right I can Get that wood out from under there which is a little removal cut then i'm going to come across and tuck that hair up under that stop cut if i can do it with my arm out of the camera i'd be happy there yeah, we got a removal cut going on i'm going to run the top the knife across the top one more time to pop those out may have to do it again because i'm not liking that I want to keep it clean.
Okay. So his hair kind of stands out a little more now. There we go. Gotta get that chip out of there. Alright, so now his hair is standing out a little bit more. It's a little more prominent on top of his head. You can cut it straight across at the top after that if you like. And then just kind of remove a little bit more wood. To get that forehead to go up and under. With a little more shadow. Alright, now. The cheeks don't look bad. We'll clean those up a little bit while we have our knife on this side over here. Still has some rough surface on them. You're gonna remember we just did it with the sanding drum. We just blasted away at it and shaped them. So any rough surfaces you want to clean up while you have a nice sharp knife in your hand, you just go for it. Right? Might round this off a little bit. Clean up around where we did the nose kind of smoothing it over in the corners there we had our chisel our gouge you know and you go around cleaning okay so now we're going to round the lip off a little bit I'm just going to do that with the knife in my hand I'm just going to kind of cut down almost straight down there okay in the front to get the shadow you want <coughs> 